This is Mrs. K here, and today we're going to discuss enzymes. Enzymes are a special type of protein, and they're used to speed up reactions. Um, your body has a lot of different reactions or things that are happening. If you didn't have enzymes, none of that could happen. Um, a reaction shows how things are made. Okay, so if we we're going to make cookies, which are one of my favorite things to eat, you need to mix together milk, sugar, eggs, and flour, maybe some other things too, and then you would make cookies. So in a reaction, whatever's going in, or the ingredients, go to the left, okay? And we call those the ingredients or the reactants. That's what we're putting into the reaction. Now, this arrow shows that something is changing, okay? And that shows what's made. And we put whatever's made on the right side. And those are called our products. So our ingredients were milk, sugar, eggs, and flour. And our products were the cookies. Um, let's look at another reaction. Photosynthesis is how plants get energy from the sun. Um, photosynthesis takes in carbon dioxide and water and mixes them together and changes them. That arrow shows that we're changing. And then we're making oxygen gas and sugar. So remember that enzymes speed up reactions. Whatever they're working on is called the substrate. So whatever the enzyme is changing is called the substrate. The substrate fits together neatly with an enzyme. Um, their shapes match. If their shapes don't match, then the enzyme's not going to work on that substrate. So we call that the lock and key model. Just like not just any key will open up any lock, not just any enzyme will work with any substrate. Their shapes have to match. And we call that the lock and key model because enzymes only work on substrates that have a matching shape. Now, the way that an enzyme works is it decreases um, the difficulty of getting a reaction started. Um, if we have somebody, a little kid who's on a swing, okay, if you've ever seen a little kid trying to swing, they swing back and forth and back and forth, and sometimes it takes them a while to get started. But in order for them to get started faster, their parent could come and push them on the swing, okay, and that would take less energy to get started. The energy to get started is called the activation energy. That is the energy needed to get a reaction started. So a little kid on the swing by themselves needs a higher activation energy to get started. Okay, they, it takes them more energy to get started, but if the parent pushes them, they have a lower activation energy. They don't have to use as much energy. Enzymes work in much of the same way. Um, if we look at our energy, we'll see in a reaction without an enzyme, the green color, okay, it takes a lot more energy to get started. It takes this much energy to go in to get that reaction started. But with an enzyme, we don't need as much energy. Okay, we only need a little bit of energy to get started. Okay, you'll see that um, in a graph like this, um, when we're comparing reactions with and without enzymes, um, reactions without an enzyme need more energy, so their, their line goes higher on the graph. In reactions that use an enzyme, their line doesn't need to go as high. They don't need as much energy to get started. So enzymes lower the activation energy. They lower the amount of energy that's needed to get the reaction started. Finally, let's discuss some factors that affect enzymes. So what can make an enzyme work better or worse? Um, the most important thing about an enzyme is its shape. Remember how the enzyme fits together with its substrate perfectly? But if we change that shape, then that enzyme's not going to work anymore. Whenever we change the shape of an enzyme, we call that denature. Now, don't confuse that with decompose. Decompose means to rot. Denature means to change the shape of an enzyme. Okay, and if we change the shape, it will no longer work. There's two main ways to change the shape of an enzyme or to denature the enzyme. That's changing the pH, so putting an enzyme in an acid or in a base, and changing the temperature of an enzyme, so putting it in something very, very hot or very, very, very cold. Okay? So when an enzyme is in the wrong pH or the wrong temperature, it will begin to unfold um, or change shape, it will be denatured, and it will no longer work. So that's it for enzymes. Just remember, enzymes speed up reactions.